channel everyone you join me for the first drive video of the project car the MR2 Roadster so I'm at a nice wee downhill pass so it's like Scotland's Akina Pass and we're gonna go I'm just taking it easy because still getting used to the car and still getting used to the car and I've not really done any handling modifications it's completely standard so just take it easy Really nice bit of road here. 4,000 RPM. This car is a joy to drive, honestly. It puts a massive smile on my face every time I drive it. 4,000 RPM. 5,000. And I'm starting to come off. I'm getting quite fast now. Just the way the MR2 picks up speed, the naturally aspirated engine is completely different to the Golf because that's like turbo power low down this is just revs like crazy drop into second oh my goodness this is such a fun drive hey guys and guys I've got a golf video coming soon as well I'm doing the R32 uh the the Nissan Skyline mod for the rear lights roads are quite dry which is nice This car handles excellent. Yeah, but I mean, I bought this car because I wanted something a wee bit different. I didn't really want to go for another hot hatch. So I want, I was like, this summertime, why not get a convertible? So I was looking at, you know, MX-5s and stuff like that. But the thing is, they've just all, they're all just rusted like crazy because of how old they are. And this car, surprisingly, is similar age to the MX-5. There, there's no rust on them whatsoever. I think it's the alloy tool to used. I'm hoping you guys can hear because this car is really noisy on the inside. Anyway, so this is like a wee downhill bit of road. It's at Campsy Glen Car Park, Scotland's. And for this video, I'm just calling it Scotland's Akina Pass because it's sort of like a wee mountain pass. And I'm just taking it easy again because I'm not used to the rear wheel drive mid engine car. I'm just enjoying it. 5,000 RPM, it just puts a smile on your face, the noise and everything. Just taking all the corners nice and slow. I've got some handling mods planned for this car, so it's nice, it'll be nice to do this first drive and then I can do a comparison later on. But I've taken the Golf down here as well a few times, but I've pushed that a lot more than I'm pushing this today. And I think it's best just to play it safe till I get used to the car. But I just love having something that revs out. That's 7,000 RPM. A car that just really, really revs. And I think it's also it's a dying breed, naturally aspirated high revving engines. With emissions and things like that, a lot of the cars have got, you know, small turbo engines. And the price you can pick these up for is really good as well. So anyway, I'll talk a wee bit about the plans I've got for the car. Um, I want to lower it of course to improve the handling and this is the pre-facelift so the facelift actually comes with additional bracing so I want to get some additional bracing from those cars and put it onto this car. Um, also I want to get a nice wee exhaust on it. That's just like immediate plans also there's more long term things. I was even thinking in the far future maybe an engine swap to the 2ZZ that makes these cars insane. They call it like a cheap a cheap um, Lotus. Here's a wee bit of street we'll just rev it out. 5,000, 6,000. See this engine? When it gets over a certain amount, it just, it just picks up speed like crazy, honestly. It's such a fun car to drive, I can't stress enough. And the rear wheel drives like it's pushing you from behind when that comes on. And being mid-engine, there's that more there's more weight over the rear wheels, so I think it's a lot more planted. So as in coming out of corners, you can put it down and you're not gonna lose. But you also have to be very careful because if you do lose these cars, that weight's gonna start to swing is very difficult to control. Again, that's another reason why I'm taking it easy today. 
just getting used to the car. But this should be a really fun build for the channel. Again, I'm grateful to everyone who says who have subscribed for the you know the golf content. There's more of that coming. There's going to be content on this as well. And also, I want to do content on other cars. Here's a here's a big turn, so I'm just going to slow right down. Honestly, there's no point in you know the first one of the first drives in this car on twisty roads and just going through that. Just just need to get to learn the car. With the golf, you can probably get away with a lot more being front wheel drive and being a lot heavier. This car. Weighs in about 900 kg, it's crazy. This road is honestly so good. It's Akina's downhill, man. It's like a nice wee downhill run. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And the road's all newly, newly laid. So smooth, no potholes and things like that. I'm just hoping the audio came out alright for this video. And after I've got downhill, we'll go on the uphill climb. But that's not really suited to this car. Here's another wee straight. Let's just rev it out. And let's go. You need to be careful for the bumps. And this probably isn't the best bit to rev out, actually. Because the bumps are pushing the car off. Here's another wee twisty bit. Drop it down again. That's really fun. I don't want to do it too much, but if you just kind of follow the corner and you can come on the gas as you come in, then it catapults you out. That's really nice. So you can go like slow in, follow it around, stay on the gas a wee bit, then you can push on the gas a wee bit more on the exit of the corner. Here's a really, really, really tight corner. Just slow it right down. And again, I can just catapult out. Honestly, this road is something else. Something else. Ah, uh, it's quite dark, the frame, but what can I do? But first drive-wise, this car is excellent. I'm really, really, really happy I bought it. It puts a smile on my face every time I drive it, and it's something old. The feel of it is completely different to the Golf. I mean, the Golf is an old car as well, but this has that old car feel. Here's another wee straight. 4,000, 5,000. 5,000, 5,500, 6,000, and just come off and then just ease on the brakes. Drop it into fourth and follow around. And that's the end of Scotland's Akina downhill pass. Went all the way around and took about eight minutes. I hope you enjoyed this first drive video of the Toyota MR2. It's honestly an excellent, excellent car for the money as well.